this video, I'm going to show you how to create keywords and add them to your FCS files in SpectraFlow. In order to add keywords to your files, first you have to add keywords to the system. To do this, log into SpectraFlow and go to the library module. Then on the left side menu, go to keywords. To create a new keyword group, click the new button. Give your group a name. I'll call this keyword test, and then click Save. Now that my group has been established, I can start adding keywords to the group by clicking this Add button. Perhaps my first keyword will be Operator, so I can track which person ran the system to record the file. For this particular keyword, it's going to be a string, so I can enter in someone's name and my default value will be John Doe. Click Save to add the keyword to the list. Perhaps another type of keyword you might want to track is beadlot, if you have a bead control in your experiment. This one is likely numeric. I'm going to remove the decimals from this keyword and I'll give it a default value. Say my current lot is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and click Save. Another keyword I might want to track in my FCS files is the date my cytometer was last serviced. I'll go ahead and add that one. I'll call it last PM for preventative maintenance. This one I will make a string. I'll type in November 12th, 2019, and click Save. Okay, now I've made a keyword list with three different types of keywords on it. Let's go to the acquisition module and add the keywords to an experiment. I'm going to go to my experiments and add some keywords to an experiment that's already been recorded on the system. I'll open my experiment then click the Edit icon to open the Experiment Editor. You'll notice at the top that Keywords is one of the tab options, so I'm going to click Keywords to open that. Then I can use these little arrows to expand my groups here and see all of the tubes in the experiment. The keywords that I came up with are all in this Keyword Test group. Again, I'll click the little drop-down arrow to expand the menu then I can simply click and drag the keywords wherever I want to add them in the experiment. If I'd like to add them to an entire group, I can drag and drop them to the group level, and it'll appear in the list with my default value. If I want to change the default value, I simply click and type in whatever the new value is. If I want to add the keyword to one tube, I can drag and drop just to the one tube like that. Or if I want to add a keyword to the entire experiment, I can drag and drop it at the experiment level and it will apply down. If I want to remove a keyword from a tube, I simply click on it and hit the delete key. Then to add it back, I can again drag and drop to apply it to each group. Okay, let me save this. To see the keywords in SpectraFlow, I can right click on the tube and go to Properties. Then in this Keywords option, I can see in this table here what keywords have been added to my FCS file. Another thing you can do with keywords, once they've been set with your tubes or your wells in a plate, you can make a statistics table and you can have the keywords as part of your stats table. So for example, let me make this screen a little bigger. I'm going to make a simple table here, deselect everything to start. I'll choose one group. I'll add one median stat to my table. Then if I toggle to this header tab, I can choose to add the custom keywords in my files, which I added last PM and beadlot, so I can choose those. There's also a lot of standard FCS file keywords in the data file as well. 
Those are all listed here under the standard keywords list. So you can choose which ones you'd like to add to your table and click save. Now you can see when my stats table appears on the worksheet, all of those keywords are listed in the header of the statistics table. Then if you were to right click and export the table, I'll put it on the desktop for now. And let me go and open that. You can see that all of the keywords are a part of the export along with the statistic that I had in that file. I'll go ahead and close this and go back to SpectraFlow. In SpectraFlow version 2.2, we added a feature where you can have the keywords in your library auto update so whatever you enter in the library section will apply to any new experiments that you create. Let me close this experiment so I can show you how to do that. I'll go back to the library, to the keywords menu, and to my keyword list. And you'll see there's this auto update option next to the keywords. Say I want the operator to auto update for each experiment and the beadlot that I'm using. I'll check that one as well. And the last PM. Now, if I go and make a new experiment, let me quickly pick a fluorescent tag and go next. I'll add a group with one tube and jump over to the keywords tab. I'll drag and drop my keywords into that tube. You'll see they have the default value. I can do next. And maybe I save this as an experiment template. Call it test keyword updates. Click save. I do not want to create an experiment right now, so I'm going to click no. Now, if I go back to my library, say I need to change these keywords. Perhaps the operator today is no longer John Doe. It's Jessica. I can save that. And if I go make an experiment from my template, test keyword updates, I can right click on my tube, click edit properties, go to keywords, and I can see the operator has been updated to be Jessica. Now, why would you want to add keywords to your files? There's many reasons to do so. Any information that you can use to group your files or your statistics when you're analyzing it will help you organize your results.